Hey, Nicole, I think uh, what's uh, interesting here is for all the talk about whether uh, the Russians, the Russian government uh, supported uh, the Trump campaign, uh, what you get from this interview with uh, the Russian foreign minister is that actually they are still uh, supportive of uh, President Trump, even if you like, uh, from a distance. And you'll remember back at the G20, we know that there were three meetings between uh, President Trump and President uh, Putin. One of those meetings only revealed uh, this week. Well, now, Sergei Lavrov suggests that perhaps there were other meetings between the two leaders. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov was in the room when President Trump met President Putin for two hours this month. The two leaders had also met briefly to shake hands and later spoke at an official dinner after President Putin was seated next to the First Lady. Now, asked if they interacted on other occasions at the G20, Mr Lavrov is dismissive, but does not deny the possibility. We, we know about uh, President Putin and President Trump meeting three times at the G20. They, they met, obviously, for the bilateral, they met at the dinner and they met... Well, when maybe they... they went to a toilet together. That was a forced time. They met also when they were photographed shaking hands. That's my question. I mean, did they meet other times in the hallways? Were there other occasions when they met? When you are brought by your uh, parents to a kindergarten, do you mix with the people who are waiting in the same room to start going to a class classroom? It's, it's the G20, though, not a kindergarten. Uh, well, but there is also a room where they get together before an event starts. They cannot arrive uh, uh, all at the same time in a bus. This is Sergei Lavrov's first U.S. interview since that G20 meeting and following his controversial visit to the Oval Office in May, where it was alleged President Trump shared sensitive U.S. intelligence with Mr. Lavrov. But the intelligence about an alleged ISIS plot to turn smartphones and devices into bombs was not secret, Sergei Lavrov claimed. He was accused uh, of telling me a secret uh, about... Uh, something which was discovered by special services uh, and which related to the ability of terrorists to manipulate with uh, smartphones and notebooks the way which would allow the explosive to be, to be placed uh, in those uh, devices. But this very statement was made publicly either by FBI or by CIA, uh, CIA about a month before I entered the Oval Office. He repeated Russian denials that it intervened in the US elections, describing President Trump as engaged in a fight with the American establishment. Oh, the fight goes on. Uh, they want to make the life of this administration miserable. Uh, people try to speak about impeachment. It's a fight, though, you think? It's a fight uh, for it's, President it's Trump? It's absolutely a fight. Uh, but as I said, I... Uh, and, and Russia is on President Trump's side? No, we are on the side of justice. And in our interview, Sergei Lavrov uh, describes the seizure of two uh, Russian compounds in the U.S. under the Obama administration as a straightforward robbery. Of course, the U.S. says that those compounds were used uh, for spying by the Russians. So while praising President Trump, uh, Moscow has been threatening to expel U.S. diplomats over that issue, Nicole. Kira, it's extraordinary. Great exclusive um, work out of uh, in Moscow and in the first interview with the Russian lawyer. Now the sit down with the Russian foreign minister. Thank you very, very much.